You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Challenge us at Wexford Insurances, 0818 31 30 30. My first guest this morning is Aideen O'Grady of Starcamp. Aideen, how did it feel to have three dragons battling it out to secure a shareholding in your own company? Absolutely super. As you can imagine, you go into the den and you really don't know what to expect, you know. You do go in there with, I suppose, expectations and hopes of the dragons wanting to invest, but you don't know, you know, you really don't know if they're going to have an interest in you at all or not. So I was absolutely thrilled and astounded by having having three of them making me offers, you know. It was a good, old, a good day, so it was. And before you went into the den, did you have any dragon in mind to invest in your particular business? I suppose it was a bit different this year because there was three new dragons. So we didn't know exactly what to expect. I had done so much research, um, looked them all up, knew everything I I could about them on paper. Um, But obviously there's one that I was most familiar with and that would have been Gavin. So I suppose knowing Gavin's way, the way he works, you know, I I suppose I would have had my eye on him a little bit more. Yeah, I would have. What would Gavin have needed to have done? for you to have chosen him? You know what? I did take that time out and go to the back of the room, you know, where they actually kind of say, if you want to, you know, think about it, 18. And I was like, okay, I'll think about it. And I actually did need that time to think about it because I was considering all options. Um, but I suppose what, what stuck in my head was that I think three times, what they don't show you, um, you know, it's obviously, we're in there an hour. It's cut down to 10 minutes. So I may have asked Gavin two or three times would he negotiate would he drop the percentage and he was so stuck there was no way he was going for it no way and I suppose when I heard that I kind of went oh if he's going to be that stickly with me now what'll it be like in business with him you know so yeah it was unfortunate he didn't come down. Uh, Dean I know that the den itself was recorded back at the start of January have the contracts been signed between yourself and Peter at this point? They have, Carl, signed, sealed and delivered. Um, you know, it's been, it takes a little bit, of, a bit of time, but yeah, there, it, it is all done. Um, I, as I say, you have to keep it all under wraps for so long and you have to bite your tongue, which is very hard. Um, it was recorded the first week of January. So yeah, two and a half months. Um, all is done and everything is absolutely wonderful. You know, Peter's been a great support and he's always there on the other end of the phone. So it's great. And what value are you looking to get from Peter in the future, apart from, of course, his thirty thousand euro investment? Look, he's a very prof- he, you know he's he's a very very professional, um, re- well respected, successful businessman, and you know I love to surround myself with those kind of people, and he is one. You know, so he, it's great to have somebody that I can call on and you know bounce things off and get ideas from, and that you know, so that'll always stand to me. When did the initial idea come to mind for you to go on the Dragons then to promote Star Camp? That's a very good question, Kyle. And the honest answer, I suppose I watched it every year and loved it. Even before I came to um, to Ireland, I loved the show. But it actually dawned on me in November when I was in Las Vegas in um, a bar. And I was, you know, I was kind of thinking, how can I, how, you know, I'm always thinking about my business, always thinking about it. It's my baby. So, um, yeah, it, it, for some reason, I struck, that was how I struck gold in Vegas. You're married with two kids. How do you balance work life? I suppose, you know, I, I love, I love my job. So it's easy, you know, it's easy to think about it all day and all night and whatever. But um, I suppose I am the type of person too, though, that when I'm at work, I'm at work. And when I'm at home, I'm at home. And there's, you know what? I adore both. It's great. But my babies are my babies and there's nothing like being a mama. So from, for those that haven't seen Dragons then over the last couple of weeks, tell our listeners exactly what Star Camp is all about, please. Star Camp. Basically, I've been running Star Camp since 2007. 2008, we ran our first summer camps. So what we do is we run children's camps for kids aged about four to 12 primary school children. And it's singing, dancing and acting camps. But it's primary ethos. And the whole reason, the honest reason for its inception is to instill confidence and self-esteem in children. And that is what we do best. Where did the original concept for that business come from? You know what, Carl? It's actually been building for years and years. I mean, I was very lucky myself to have gone to stage school from a very young age and I know how much it stood to me in life. So I suppose the concept has been there for a long time. I actually had the idea going back to 2002 
And I remember discussing it people with people that long ago. So I had it. It was festering in my brain all the time. And it was a matter of when. So um, luckily, I kind of I plucked up the courage to actually do it um, and, go, and, you know, give it my whole time and my whole heart. And, you know, it's just paying off. It's a wonderful business and it's it's full of wonderful people. And, you know, it's all about positivity. And, you know, we're surrounded by so much of it, you know, there that it's 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 just flying. I know that the camps themselves are aimed at primary school kids. What's the mix between boys and girls? It's about 70-30, um, but it's definitely growing. Some camps now, in saying that, are about 50-50, you know, depending on the location and, you know, and that. But it's definitely, there's definitely every year there's more and more boys going. And we're very conscious of keeping it very cool and hip for the boys. So, you know, everything that we do, whether it's the hip-hop dancing or the acting scenes or whatever, you know, it's very much aimed at boys as well as girls. I suppose going back 10 or 15 years ago, it would have been predominantly girls attending these camps. But the likes of The X Factor and other shows like it must have had a serious influence over the years, had it? That's right, Kyle. Most definitely. I mean, boys would have been, would have found it, you know, very uncool going back to do dancing or, you know, acting or anything like that. That's apparently the way it was. But now you have diversity. You've Justin Bieber, you've One Direction, singing, dancing, you've acting. So they, boys are more into it than girls these days it's absolutely gas and is you know what it is brilliant for them uh, yeah, our listeners are probably wondering before you set up the business itself what were you doing what what was what was going on in your own career um, well, I suppose going back to when I left school, I mean, I was always involved in um, performance of some sort, loved music. So I suppose when I went to Dublin, for, I le- went to Dublin after leaving school and I stayed in the music business. I was involved with bands, managing bands, um, ma- organising um, musical events. Um, I worked with Hot Press magazine for a while because, I, you know, I loved that side of it. Um, stayed in publishing then for a couple of years. I had my own publishing business then for a little while. Um, I I ran um, a woman's magazine called IQ. So it's always been kind of, you know, uh, <laughs> the media or or performance of some sort, you know. Okay, I'd like to go back and talk a little bit more about the Dragons then at this stage. Uh, your reason for going on to the den itself was to get an investment of €30,000 with a view to giving away as little equity as possible, which you certainly achieved by just giving away 5%. What did you want that €30,000 for? This year, we're launching the franchises. So we're doing stage school franchises and party franchises. But we're also going to run the parties from in-house also. So the franchises are um, going to be a fantastic side of the business. We're really, really excited about that. There are so many unemployed people in this country at the moment, Carl, across Ireland, who are extremely talented, hardworking, and just aren't... The the opportunities aren't there for them. So we're looking for people across the country. Now, we do have limited numbers and it has to be, you have to be the right individual. But people who have experience in performance, who understand the performing arena or parties and children and who actually, you know, if, if, if there's any people out there listening, you know, come to us. You know, we have finance in place for the right people um, and we will give you all the support and um, tools that you need to run a successful business. For those that wouldn't understand anything about franchising, can you provide our listeners with some information about what a franchise is and how it works? Yeah, basically, Kyle, a franchise is... Look, Star Camp is a, a known brand across Ireland. We're a performing network. We've been around for five years. We've had thousands of children through our hands. So basically, somebody who's starting up a business, and it doesn't even have to be someone who's starting up a business. You might already have a stage school, but you you want a network. You want a network around you. You want to be part of something that is big and that is growing and that will have a huge support system. We'll give you all the tools, you know, to be part of a big business. Come with us. There's so many advantages to it. I could be here all night talking about the advantages. Um, but it is proven, Carl, that if you are part of a franchise, which is, you know, a bigger network, you buy into the company, you are, you are still self-employed, you own your own business, but you're just part of a team. So in relation to those franchises, how many of them are you looking to roll out this year? This year, we're actually limiting ourselves this year. We're only, we're, look at, we're not going to give you a defined number, but we're not going to roll them out, you know, across the country willy nilly either. You know, we are being very cautious and careful. There are standards and procedures to being part of the Star Camp team. Um, our standards are high, but at the same time, um, it is about, you know, it is about our core ethos always stands, you know, um, and that is building self esteem and confidence in children. And if people have that ability combined with, performing skills you know then that's what we're looking for well Aideen many thanks for coming in this morning and telling us your story I wish you continued success with developing Star Camp across the country 
You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Think Wexford Insurances for your business insurance.